what made you to turn towards the social services? Uh, I'm a follower of Baha'i faith and to me the whole world is one country and mankind its citizens. So as a human being it's my spiritual responsibility to do something that I can thank God in my life uh, because I survived the open heart surgery at the age of 15. Then I survived four surgeries of cancer in 2007. Then a car accident in 2011. So that has helped me to sustain the, the service because I always valued life. And I chose it. And uh, thank God I was always given opportunities also. And I was given an opportunity to come and serve in Indore to set up Burley Development Institute for Rural Women. So I came here and started the institute on 1st June 1985 and uh, it was three years when I was running at my own and uh, after three years I met uh, Jimmy McGilligan, my, my husband, uh, who was also a Baha'i pioneer in India, British citizen. So we both could work together and we were a, we both made a choice to serve the humanity. Then what is the aim of setting up Jimmy uh, Magilligan Center for Sustainable Development? Actually the aim is not setting up a center. This is uh, after my retirement and my husband's retirement from Burley Development Institute for Rural Women where I established the institute and trained 6,000 girls. We were retiring and we were going to live in a village so that we could set up a model of sustainable development. And that is our home. It's just our personal dwelling. And uh, I, my husband and I started building it. But before we could finally go and start living, he passed away. So, but he had already made up a, uh, build a power station there, solar and wind power station. And he had already made a uh, solar kitchen and uh, all the planning. And he has made the house and designed it eco-friendly house. And so I dedicated my dwelling to Jimmy McGilligan Center for Sustainable Development to sustain all the work that we had planned and to dedicate that house to him. After getting this partnership, what is your aim? And especially for Indore, what do you want to do in, especially for Indore? See, I am, I am, I am for Indore and Indore has been my, it's my home. Now the village, of course I live, but it's Indore, it's a part of Indore. And I, I am always associated with all the organizations, but the pri priority now, other than what I'm doing at my center, priority is to now contribute my time and share all my experience with Port Lod, the village that has been adopted by our uh, Honorable Lok Sabha Speaker as a member of parliament. So uh, she has uh, trusted me to help and whatever I have learned and whatever I'm doing in my village in terms of organic farming, training women in livelihood, uh, educating children, empowering women with confidence and empowerment of women, gender equality, improving the, their quality of life, which they have to do but giving them more confidence and empower them. Yeah, you are involved in so many social work and mm -hmm. at the same time you are also promoting this organic farming, solar energy and a lot of things. How do you manage all these things together? Actually it's not I am managing all these things. All these things together are making me live every minute. All these activities are the source of energy and all these people who give me so much of love, appreciation, support and God is there. Who is your ideal? Ideal, I don't have one particular ideal but as a Baha'i there is Master Abdul Baha who is the role model for every Baha'i to, to follow a life in deeds, in service. Service is equal to 
worship. Work is worship and service is prayer. So, but at the same time, I have lot of role models in my life in different areas. Like my husband is an exemplary role model of a person who left his country and he lived here and served selflessly. And I think he was an ideal person who lived the life of service. Considering Vasudhaya Kutumbukam, the word is one country. So, and, and at the same time, uh, my mother is my role model for values and humility. My father is my role model for my uh, courage and strength. Any message to our audience, especially for women? Women, I want to uh, say all the women that we all, humanity is like a bird and men and women, man and woman, both are two wings of a bird and both have to fly together with the common strength. So women also have to consider themselves to be equal, to recognize our potential, to improve the quality of life, come forward, hold hand of each other and we educate our children in such a way that we make them better children, better boy, better girl, better sister, better uh, mother, better daughter-in-law and better son-in-law. If we are able to do that as women, I think India will have no problems. Uh, whatever we are seeing, rape and corruption, violence against women, domestic violence, these are just symptoms. The root cause is uh, gender inequality and uh, not dignity of humanity. If we, if we women are the first educators as mothers, I think we can change the world, but we can't change the world alone because we are only one wing. We have to do it together. Thanks, madam.